Greetings children. This is Aishwarya. The following video is for 6th standard subject general science chapter 3 fiber to fabric. Please follow the textbook when I read through it. You will learn the concepts accordingly. Paheli and Bojo won the first prize in a science quiz competition held at their school. They were very excited and decided to use the prize money to buy clothes for their parents. When they saw a large variety of cloth materials, they got confused. The shopkeeper explained that some clothes or fabrics were cotton and some were synthetic. He also had woven Muff, uh, woolen mufflers and shawls. There were many silk saris as well. Paheli and Bojo felt very excited. They touched and felt these different fabrics. Finally, they bought a woolen muffler and a cotton sari. After their visit to the cloth shop, Paheli and Bojo began to notice various fabrics in their surroundings. They found that bedsheet, blankets, curtains, tablecloth, towels and dusters are made from different kinds of fabrics. Even their school bags are, or are the gunny bags were made from some kind of fabric. They tried to identify these fabrics as cotton, wool, silk or synthetic. Now, even or you can also identify some fabrics on your screen. You can see different fabrics that is cotton, velvet, jersey, silk, wool, denim, satin, linen, rayon. There are different kinds of variety of fabrics. They are made from different fib um, fibers or their sources are different. So in this lesson, you are going to learn about how the, from the source the clothes are made. Visit activity one given in your textbook. Visit a nearby tailoring shop. Collect the cuttings of the fabrics left over after stitching. Feel and touch each piece of fabric. Now try to label some of the fabric as cotton, silk, wool, or synthetic after asking from for help from the tailor uh, if you are not able to do this activity you can do it at home itself you can ask your parents uh, I'm sure you will have different varieties of clothes cotton or different fabrics silk saris uh, wool wool can be the sweaters if you feel the sweater the quality of the sweater feel of the sweater is different from the feel of the cotton clothes. This activity will understand that each clothes um, feel is different. The touch feel is different. Activity 2. Select a piece of cotton fabric and uh, label uh, you, you labeled in activity 1. Now try to find a loose thread or yarn at the one end of the edge and pull it out. Now here in the first picture you can see the threads which are coming out of the clothes. Those threads are called yarns. If no loose yarns are visible, you can gently pull one out with a pin or a needle. Now this one thread is called the yarn. Next is fiber. Take out activity 3. Take out a yarn from a piece of cotton fabric. Place this piece of yarn on the table. Now press one end of the yarn with your thumb. Scratch the other end of the yarn along its length with your na nails as shown in your textbook. Do you find that at this end the yarn splits up into thin strands? That means yarn is made of thin, um, uh, thinner strands of fibers. You might have observed something similar when you tried to thread a needle. 
Many a times the end of the thread is separated into few thin strands. This makes it difficult to pass the thread through the eye of the needle. The thin strands of thread that we see are made up of thinner strands called fibers. Fabrics are made up of yarns and yarns are further made up of fibers. Here in the picture you can see that fibers are the raw material used, to used in making textile items. They are spun or twisted together to make yarns. From fibers we make yarns. From yarns fabrics are made. Second step is yarns are made from fabrics from either natural or synthetic sources. They are interlaced, interlooped or bonded together to make fabrics. Fabrics are made from yarns. Different fabric types are produced by different methods of joining the yarns together. Now, there are different types of fibers, natural fibers or synthetic fibers. Natural fibers means they are, uh, got, they are from the animals and plants like cotton or jute, leather. Synthetic fibers are nylon and polysters. Fabrics are, uh, I am reading from the textbook, page number 19, second paragraph. Fabrics are made up of yarns and yarns are further made up of fibers. Where do, you, where do these fibers come from? The fibers of some fabrics such as cotton, jute, silk and wool are obtained from plants and animals. These are called natural fibers. Cotton and jute are the example of fibers obtained from plants. Wool and silk fibers are obtained from animals. Wool is obtained from the fleece of sheep or goat. It is obtained from the hair of rabbits, yak and camel. Silk fiber is drawn from the cocoon of silkworm. For thousands of years, natural fibers were the only ones available for making fibers. In the last hundred years or so, fibers are also made from chemicals. These are the examples of the natural fibers. Fibers obtained from the plants and animals are called natural fibers, that is cotton and jute. Synthetic fibers means the fibers which are not obtained from plants or animal source. They are synthetic fibers. They are usually made from the chemicals. Now the examples for synthetic fibers are polyester, nylon and acrylic. These three, they are, uh, they, when you touch it, you feel like it is a plastic. It looks like plastic. So they are synthetic fiber. Now, uh, this part is, you learned about natural fibers and synthetic fibers. And um, what are the fibers, yarns and um, clothes, fabrics, clothes or fabrics. In the part two, you will learn about uh, plant fibers that is cotton fiber, how, uh, how it is from the cotton, how it is made to cotton clothes or jute, how we extract jute, then spinning of cotton yarns, yarn to fabric, weaving and knitting. All these things you are going to learn in the next chap next video. Stay at home, stay safe and Take care of yourself, children, and keep learning. Thank you.